All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Aero Garden in-home garden system. So uh, it's normally $129.99. It was $30 off, so about $100. And let's go ahead and take a look, okay? So grow fresh herbs and vegetables year-round, okay? It includes heirloom cherry tomatoes, six-pod kit, and gourmet herbs, six pods as well. Okay, garden shears, plant spacers. Here you go. Harvest Elite Slim. So this is a thinner model. I don't know what this thing here. Oh, it tells you what it comes with. Thyme, curly, parsley, dill, basil, mint, um, basil, Thai basil, uh, tomatoes, and yep. Germination guaranteed. So... They're guaranteed to grow, so if for some reason they don't grow, I guess you call them and they'll probably send you uh, replacement pods. Okay, let's take a look here. Always fresh, always local. You can read all of this, pause and read it yourself, hopefully. Hopefully it's clear enough. Alright. So let me show a picture of that. <clears throat> The reason why I bought this, um, we're going to see if it's even going to be possible. I don't know or I don't think if it's going to be. But I kind of wanted to put my own seeds in the pods to grow um, these things called strawberry trees. <clears throat> Excuse me, strawberry trees. Um, and you can see, it says soil free, so I don't think you can plant your own. Which, I don't know if I'm going to want this if I can only grow the stuff that's in here. We'll see. Yeah, because right now the weather's too cold to grow other kinds of plants, so from plant to plate. I mean, they do show like lettuce and stuff, but they don't sell that in here. Or at least that looks like lettuce. So we'll see if we can order other types of stuff online. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this. There's this, these pull tabs. We'll see I can, how I can record this because this thing is somewhat large for my recording setup. Alright, there's no tape or anything on it, it seems. It just pops open. Forgot to show the top. You can actually see these types of plants and the herbs. Okay, let's go ahead now and pop it open. Oh, sorry. Okay, there's more stuff in here if you need. Okay, so they do have like some membership stuff, I guess, so you can order other things. One year warranty. Right, and customer support. It says not to return it to the store. If you have questions or problems, just to contact them. Okay, so inside we have this. Maybe I should do this on the floor so it's easier to get a larger view. Um, let me actually do that. I'm going to move the camera and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Turned the flash off because I was making too much glare. Here you can see how it's packed. All right. So we got the tomato things on top. Somewhat heavy, but let's go ahead and take a look. Hopefully it's readable with this poor lighting, but you can see preceded. Okay, so I guess if you run out, you could always buy more of these pods. Guaranteed to grow. Alright, comes with plant food and everything. And they'll replace any pods that don't grow after 21 days. Okay, I think I showed that side already. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and open one up just to see inside. Let's see, which way do these open? It looks like these are like tear open things, so this is gonna be difficult to open. Let's go ahead and try and open, there we go. Okay. Let's take a look inside. Tear this plastic off. All right, so how does this open that like this? 
I think they glue, yeah, they glue it down, so you do have to, like, tear it. Okay. I don't know why they glue it, but there we go. Or actually, I'm dumb. You didn't have to tear it. It opens this way. Okay. So the pods look like this. You can see, let me actually turn the flash on so it's might be easier to see this. Okay, so you can see this. I don't know what this material is. I'm guessing you can't plant dirt in here because then it's probably just going to get gross. It's going to go in the water, but you can see. Focus on there. Focus on the inside. It's not doing it. Well, okay, there you go. All right, and you can see this. Ready Finch Tomato sprouts in 7 to 14 days. So they give you some estimate. The label's not really clear. It's kind of blurry. This one's kind of all frayed out. I don't know why. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Good thing they put a seal on this because <laughs> this cap was off. And then it comes with these little plastic covers. It's a lot smaller than I was thinking from when I saw... Uh, in people's videos as you can see my hands aren't very big. These things are pretty small Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. I'll open the other one the right way now um, Oh, these are the spacers. They're just little black covers to cover the holes Okay, actually let me open one and shut it close up Okay and you just say arrow garden on it with a little leaf thing and like that okay so we'll set that aside if you're wondering here's the plant food stuff liquid plant food for seed starting ve uh, vegetative growth flowering and fruiting okay so you can actually use this for flowers and stuff okay here's the instructions to shake the bottle add plant food directly into water bowl Cap on the bottle holds four milliliters, so you can pour it directly into the cap for measuring. All right, and they tell you how much to use for the pods. Okay, you can read over all of that yourself if you somehow lost this or the instructions got screwed up on your bottle. Okay, then they have the instructions on what it is, I guess. It's all coming out clear enough. There we go. All right, we'll set that aside. And then you got the herbs. Um, I guess it's going to be about the same. Okay, wait. It opens from this side, so I can open it from here. Probably easier. Come on. Man, I don't like this kind of plastic wrapping. Okay, I made a hole in it. There we go. Tear this open. And toss that stuff away. And here you can see here. Should probably turn off the flash. Oh, okay, it's actually okay. Six pods, herbs. That. This is more of an unboxing. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole growing and showing. Maybe I'll do some updates over time. We'll see. All right, I got this and the top. All right, let's open this up. You can see they have this booklet in here. Wait, was that in the other one and I just pulled it out? Oh, I think this was in the other one. Um, so we'll take a look at that in a bit. Same other stuff, same food growing stuff, and the pods basically the same, but they write what each one is. So this is mint, and it tells you sprouts in 6 to 10 days. Alright, Thai basil sprouts in 5 to 10 days. It's a tall plant. The other one was a medium plant. Alright, so you can kind of space them apart, I guess. 
Genovese's basil. I don't know how you... Sprouts in 6 to 12 days. It's a tall plant. Alright. Dill. Sprouts in 10 to 21 days. It's a tall plant. Curly parsley. Sprouts in 14 to 21 days. It's a short plant. And you got thyme. Sprouts in 7 to 14 days. Also a short plant. Okay, so we're going to set those aside, and let's go ahead and take a look at the little booklets. We'll see if there's anything different in them. Um, there are little bits of the dirt in the box, so it might be a little uh, messy. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. I tore the tomato box open for nothing. All right, let's see here. Are these the same first-time grower? I'm going to guess it's the same because they would probably sell those seed pods separately. And I doubt they're going to... Yeah, okay. So I think it's the same. So we'll open the one that's clean. This one's all dirty, so we'll toss that aside. It must have, like, leaked or something or I don't know. All right, so here you can see. Seed pod instructions. Okay, it's really hard to read this with this color... Whoever chose this color scheme did not do it right. All right, here you go. They have instructions on how to do it. Fill it with cool water. Using 50-50 mix of distilled and tap water may give you better result results. So depending on your water, you might have to adjust with some distilled water. All right. Here you go. They show how to do with seed, the seeded pots and to add the plant food. And that's pretty much it. All right. So let's see. Oh, then you can replant them. All right. You want to clean out the roots and other residue. Um, it doesn't say anything about... Is it going to say you can grow them in dirt outside after they're done? Or are they permanently just stuck in this thing? Let's see. So when you start out, you want to start with the light hood all the way down. I'm going to read through all of this and then we'll do like a planting and just to show how it works. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll kind of go over it. I'll read through all the instructions to make sure it's going right because I know a lot of people don't like to read the instructions. So if you want, you can actually even skip over and you'll see me planting these things. Okay, planting date. So you can even write when you planted it. This tells you what's covered. Uh-oh, I have a customer here. So I think we already looked at this front piece. So all right, I think that's it. Okay, so I have a customer here, so I'll be back, all right? Let's see what else. We'll take a look at this. Arrow Grow International. Oh, these are the shears. Let's just take a look at this real quick before we finish, before I go and deal with my customer. Okay, the shears look like this. Um, all right, they're sealed. Oh, they're not sealed in this bag, so the bottom's opened. Then it has this rubber thing to prevent it from opening, and it looks like a lock here, yep. Okay, so here you can see, they seem decent quality, all right? I mean, you're growing small plants, so you're probably not gonna be cutting anything too thick, so it should be good. We're gonna go ahead and lock this back up, all right? And then we'll put this back on. All right, so I'm gonna go um, deal with my customer real quick, and then I'll be back to show you the actual uh, device. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back, so let's go ahead and get this thing out and take a look. So we're gonna flip the box over. And let, hopefully it will fall out, yep. All right, nothing in the bottom, so that's pretty much all we got. Okay, so let's take a look here. <clears throat> this thing is pretty thin, all right. As you can see, let me actually lower this down a little bit. Okay, so is there a front and a back? Here we go. So I got that. 
grow fresh herbs and vegetables. Let me turn off the flash. Okay. Harvest Elite Slim. It has this digital thing on it. Non-GMO, according to this. Okay. You can read all of that information if you want. I think it might be the same as what's on the front of the other thing. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's all the same here, so I'll just kind of quickly through. All right, enjoy for months. Uh, I wonder if you can plant it in the ground because, and if they continue growing afterwards, because I don't know if you're gonna have to keep buying the plant nutrient stuff and just keep pouring it in there. I don't know if that's gonna be very good it might end up costing you more than just buying vegetables from your store so okay i already showed the sides i believe okay so it opens from the sides here it seems could be wrong oh no that looks right oh they actually put tape on this side so they seal this with some tape okay Take this to make it easier for me to peel this tape up. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and open this box now. Alright, just like that. So it comes in this um, board papery stuff package get this out of the way come on get out of there there we go set the box aside there's no oh there's something in the box so interesting so they have this in the box and they have a recipe in the box so all right they tell you how to use the mint and other stuff Oh, I'm getting more customers messaging me, so. Okay. Put all this information here. Tell you how to make pesto. Okay, when I first saw it, I was like, why are they showing guacamole? <laughs> all right, we'll set that aside. We have this quick setup. All right. Hopefully it's all readable i'm going to just kind of quickly go by here so this is the one that we have harvest elite slim no tools required okay so this is going to be tough to read okay hopefully you can read all of that again i am going to read over everything and then do the initial setup so you guys can kind of see what is required. Ideal temperature, 65 to 76. I might have to turn the house heater on. That's that's going to make it not worth it itself. It's going to make it cost more just to... Yeah, in the winter I don't use the heater. So... Here we go. Water quality matters. Add fresh water often. Rinse and refill. Okay, control panel and settings. Why is it not focusing clearly? Come on. Oops. I don't know why it's not focusing clearly, but hopefully it's. I think it's. You can read it. It's just kind of fuzzy. Alright, so it looks like that. Days planted, plant food timer. So they have all of that there for you. Alright. Then they got warranty information here if you need that. I don't know if this is going to be able to do what I wanted it to, so. 
we'll see. All right. They got some safety instructions here. You can read over this. Says not to use near aerosol sprays. I saw one thing. I don't know if that's because it'll go on your food. Where'd it go? I don't, whatever. I'll find it later and I'll kind of explain more stuff as I read over and see what people might run into on accident. Because a lot of people usually don't like to read instructions and they'll just do it assuming they can figure it out. So here you go. Not submerge. Okay. Done with that. Let's go ahead and open this up. I might have to respond to my customer real quick, but the packaging's like this in case you need to rebox it and return it. Okay, it has this little box here in this slot. Okay, this is the power cable. Okay. Um US power plug. All right, and if you wanted to get an aftermarket plug, let's see if I can get the voltage and all that. It comes in this baggie. All right, comes like this with a 90 degree bent plug. This seems to be the standard, a standard size plug. And then it's one of these sideways plugging in ones. So if you're plugging in your wall, that's usually a good thing. 12 volt, 2.5 amps. Okay, so if you need to get a replacement and if Aero Garden or um, this company, I forgot what it's called, Nature Miracle Grow, yeah. So if they're selling it overpriced, then we can just get an aftermarket one. All right, they have this cardboard here that there's nothing in it, it's just hollow. Um, I think that's just to keep this from kind of bending around. Okay, and that just slid into this area there. So again, if you need to rebox it. Okay, so let's pull this out. It comes in this. You can see it says slim right there. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Um, this baggie's just kind of on there, twisted up. Uh oh, those little pods are coming out. So the bottom does have a little tape on it, so. Let's go ahead and peel that out. Okay. And then we're going to pull this up and pull the bag off. Hopefully. It feels like it's stuck on something. I don't know what it's stuck on. Come on. There we go. Okay. We got the bag out. This thing is pretty small. It looks like you can actually put it on your windowsill if you wanted to so the only thing is I don't know if you have plugs right next to your windowsill okay um, there's all this tape all over it to hold things in place so let's go ahead and peel this off because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to leave the tape on there okay and we're just gonna stick that on the bag so this little piece comes up fill to something fill to here okay Let's go ahead. Oh, actually, this whole piece comes up. <clears throat> and, oops, sorry. I'm doing a bad job recording this. So this whole piece comes up. And it's hard to kind of show what... But there's this plug here. It looks like you can unplug that as well. Okay. And let's go ahead and take a look at this device. So it looks like this. It's like a dark gray, not black. Um, you can see all the LEDs under here. There are screws that hold it together. Um, for some reason, the center ones look different. I don't know if these are UV lights and the rest are just lights for you to see. I don't know. But um, here we go. Arrow Garden. You can read that. 12 volt, 2.5 amps. So they actually put the information here as well. So if you lose your out, um, AC adapter or charger or power thing, then you will have that information. Okay, plugs into the back here. Aris Elite Slim, 
power and pump. So you plug the pump into there. All right, so this is basically like a little tripod. You can flip this latch over and then you can move this up and down. Okay, that's the, this is the maximum height. Um, maybe I should get a ruler and measure this, but hopefully you have one at your Costco that you can kind of take a look at, but I'll get a ruler and see if I can measure this. You go, touch to turn on the lights, touch to access your menu options. Oh, they're talking about the controls up here. Okay. Scroll between setting and time. Confirm changes. So they have all the instructions how to run it on here. All right. Do not submerge in water. So you don't want to get this thing in water. All right. Then they got little screw holes there, I believe. And yeah, that's about it for this um, again I'm gonna go get a ruler real quick and I will measure this for you guys so you can kind of get an idea of the size all right I'll be back all right so I'm back let's go ahead and measure this thing <clears throat> so the height from top to bottom uh, about 17 and a half inches um, if you want centimeters uh, 44 about 44 centimeters okay Let's go ahead and lower this down and check the difference from the lowest to tallest. So at its shortest, we get about, um, oops, we get about 11 inches, a little bit less than 11 inches, um, which is uh, close to 28, 27, 28 centimeters. Okay, and we'll measure this way. So the longest bit is about 14 and a half uh, inches and 30 point, uh, th sorry, 37 centimeters. And then the width, if you're putting it on a windowsill, is about four and a quarter inches and about 11 centimeters or 10 and a half ish, a little over 10 and a half uh, centimeters. Okay, so that's the size. I'm going to put this all the way up. I don't know how I'm going to record this because it's at an awkward angle. Okay, so we're done with this. We'll set that out of the way for now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We'll peel out the tape. Let me actually lower this. Okay, so we'll peel out this tape here as well. Okay. And then we'll peel out the tape on this side. All right. Okay, and that's what it looks like on the back. I actually need to respond to my customer real quick, so let me do that and I'll be back. We'll go over some more of what's there. Fill to here, so you fill to that. Okay, this piece comes out. Looks like this, in case anyone was curious. Looks like it'd be a pain to clean if it gets all dirty and like um, algae and stuff in it, but that's what it looks like. All right, put that back on. Put this back on. Oops. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna read over the directions, respond to my customer real quick, and then we'll go ahead and start putting the pods. But here you can see, you can only plant um, six at a time. Okay, I'll see you. Guys. All right, so as you can see, it fits perfectly on a windowsill. We're gonna go ahead and try starting this thing up. So let me move this a bit lower. I don't know if I'll be able to get this. Let's see here. Okay, you can see the welcome start. I'm gonna have to probably tilt this down a bit more if it'll stay there, okay? And let's go ahead and set this up. So it says to start, press this leaf button. Uh, start your garden in two easy steps. So set the clock first, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the time right now is 11.38. So, oh, oops, 11. These buttons actually, you don't they don't click or anything. So they, I don't know, it's kind of weird. They press, are they like, oh, they're touch sensitive. So, okay, interesting. 
Set this to 11.38. Okay. All right, let me make sure I turned off all my notifications. All right, so we got, um, it's 11.39 now, so do that. All right, AM. Okay, clock is set. Press this button to continue. Select plant type. So I'm going to be growing the tomatoes in it. Okay, so let's see if it lets what it says. Okay, so that does nothing. We'll push that. So flowers. <clears throat> no. Um, does it even say on here how many hours of light? It says 7 to 14. And also, um, I'll go over it in a bit, but they say... Uh, they talk about pruning it and spacing them out and things like that. So for optimal growth um, All right, we're not growing flowers Veggies do they count tomatoes as veggies? What's a salad? <laughs> That's so weird, okay I'm going to assume that they're gonna consider tomatoes veggies, so we're gonna do that All right veggie garden set. Oh, so the wa the light already turned on you can see it's telling me to add water so let's go ahead and zoom out a bit. Okay, and let's go ahead and take this thing out. So according to the instruction manual, all right, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm going to pull this plug out from here. All right, so according to the instruction manual, the light will turn on the moment you plug it in, and then it will start that 16-hour cycle. But if you want, you can reset the timer. I'm curious about one thing. If I unplug this, will it maintain the settings? Let's see. I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in and see what happens. Because if you get a power outage and you have to reset all of this up again, that's going to be very annoying. So let's go ahead and see what it does. All right. Um, we'll leave it unplugged a few more seconds, maybe like 10 seconds, just in case it has like some slight um, battery that it will hold it for a little bit. But... Okay, if it handles going for 10 seconds, it'll probably handle for going for multiple hours. Okay, so I'll give it a few more seconds and let's plug it in. Okay. All right, so we plugged it back in and okay. Um, the time is showing 2 p.m. Why is it showing 12 p.m.? Um, use arrows to scroll and select button. Okay, so I don't think it save the stuff it looks like it got messed up so we're gonna set the clock again it's 11 42 ish Why isn't it going go go okay okay 11 42 a.m. yeah it's so it doesn't really keep the date and time if it goes off so that's going to be annoying. If you get a power outage, you're going to have to go over here and set all of this back up. Um, we're going to push this. Menu, use arrows to scroll and press to select. Okay, so we're going to do that. Set clock. Start a garden. Plant select. Light on. Okay. Test pump. No thanks. Change days. Go back. Okay. So let's go ahead and start garden again. Okay. We did that. Oh, I guess it. if you mess it up, then you do that start garden thing again. Okay, veggies. Okay, here we go. So this thing says plant food timer 14. So 14 days, and then I guess you put more plant food. Let's see what the other menu options are here. Start a garden, plant select. So if you change the wrong one, you can change it after that, okay, without having to reset the time. But let's see what else. Set light on. Test pump. Change days. What's change days? Oh, okay. So you can adjust how when you want the plant food reminder. So I'm going to have to go over the thing and then see what it wants me to do. But we're going to fill up the water now. So we got this thing. I'm just going to put some tap water in here. We're going to open this up. Um, usually you would do it through the little hole here. Okay, and then you fill to this. It doesn't say to fill it past that or just up to it. So I'm guessing you just fill it up to that line. Um, okay, yeah, because the pump will pull the water in from down there. So I'm going to fill it up to this line, and then I'll be back. All right, see you guys in a bit. 
All right, so I got it filled up. It's actually slightly over that thing. Oh, there's some stuff inside. Let me clean it out. All right. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this thing and put that into the spot. Um, it's hard to show this, but basically, let me see if I can turn it this way and you can see, it's filled just slightly over that thing. Right now there's water that's just formed a droplet on top. But um, yeah, all right, hopefully I'm not gonna spill this. Okay, we'll put it on halfway like that and then we can reach the plug. Oh, here you can see the water pump is flowing out. Let me adjust the camera to make this easier for you guys to see. So, I'm gonna raise this up a bit. And tilt this down. So maybe I'll just put it over here. Okay, raise it up more. There we go. Okay, maybe that's a best view. Raise the camera a bit more. All right. So let's go ahead and put this lid back on top. Um, it looks like this rubber piece has to go on top. So there we go. Okay. All right. Next thing we're going to do, um, I probably should have gone over everything for you guys. Um, we got the tomato things here. All right. So let me actually pause. I'm going to read over real quick and then we'll start it up again. Oh, we got the plant food thing here. So, maybe I should lower this so I can see. Um, plant food. Okay, so they tell you how much. Two and three pod models, you put a certain amount. Six and seven. So, this is a six pod model. This goes based on the model or how many pod holes there are. It doesn't matter how many pods you put in there. Even if you put one pod, because it's a six pod model, you want to follow this. And it says to put two capfuls at startup and every two weeks to continue adding another two capfuls. And then every month it tells you to dump the water out and then basically uh, put, put clean water and put another two capfuls. Okay. So I'm going to puncture a hole in this. It has this. I was gonna, just going to puncture that. Okay. You can use a knife or whatever. All right. Just use my fingernail. So we punctured that and we're going to put two capfuls. I don't know how full they want the cap, but it says two capfuls. So let's go ahead and do that. Wow. The water is actually pretty warm. Or not the water, the lighting. Okay, so there's one. Get that in there. Okay, oops, I dropped it on the side. And there's two-ish. I don't know how full, if they want it over the top or just like that. But uh, there we go. Okay, I feel like, I feel like this thing was leaking, as you can see. So... I don't know if I should go to Costco and get a replacement because it was leaking. Or I'll call Miracle Grow and maybe they'll send me a new one. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you saw the booklet and everything. It had stuff leaking out on it. Okay, so anyways, we're going to put the cap back on. I don't like how some of it is on here. So let me see if I can somehow rinse this on there. And get the... I guess... Trying to rinse it off with the water, rinse it off into the water. Okay, there we go. Clean enough. Hopefully, I didn't take out more of it by getting it onto my fingers and my hand from washing that. Okay, so we got the two capfuls of stuff that they asked for. Okay, so because tomato plants grow really big, they say to space them far apart because they're going to grow um, pretty. Uh, wide and tall so they tell you not to mix um, fruit fruiting vegetables and plants and whatever with herbs because they'll actually cover the herbs and block the light um, and also when you start you want it as close down as low as possible and as it grows they said to keep it the light about four to six inches away from the tops of the plants if they're growing unevenly you can actually trim them and they actually give you a chart to tell you um, how far to trim it down okay it's in the oh here so they tell you to cut where to cut and things like that all right and how to keep it spaced keep to keep room over for the plants all right again you feed once a month so put the and then also fresh water bath 
So rinse and refill, rinse it out, and then refill with fresh new water, add the recommended nutrients, okay? If bugs get on your plants, it says like bugs can get in from writing on your clothes or if it's close to a window, if the window is open, they can get in. Or maybe you just have little bugs in your house and you don't know, but, or if you buy produce, you don't know, they can come from those as well. All right, um, anyways, it doesn't really say much else in there. All it says is to add water, drop in the seeded pods, and then use the spacers. Oh, that's another thing. You want to cover the other holes that you aren't using because if you don't, algae will grow because the water will get the light. So you don't want the light to get the water. Um, I'm not sure what would be best. Uh, oh, I didn't show, but underneath the lights, those center rows that I was talking about that I thought were UV lights, three of them on each side are red. So three are red and then the furthest one over is blue. Same thing, three red and then one blue. The rest are like a white, white light. Okay, so for the tomatoes, I'm kind of wondering, should I put it all the way out here onto the edges? Because if I put it in the middle and then they grow big, they have less room to grow because they'll bump into each other. But if I put it out here, then they have more room. So, or should I put four? I don't know how big they'll grow. I think um, I'm just gonna put them on the outer edge uh, because I think I, I've seen some videos and they grow somewhat big, so we're just going to drop the pot in there. Okay. Um, it just drops in. I don't know if you have to like push it down into place. It's kind of like there's there's no like grips for these, whatever these lines sticking out are. So I guess we'll just put it like that. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you want to keep the put these covers on when you're first growing them. And as the plants grow, you can pop these off and either recycle them, they said, or just save them for future uses if you're going to grow new plants. So these are basically to uh, allow the plants to grow better. Okay, so we're going to put two. Again, I don't know why one of the pods looked messed up. I, grew, I put that one to grow. So if it has issues, I'll just call the company and then ask them maybe I need to get a replacement. Okay, but we'll see. All right, so it looks like they do latch in somewhere because as you can see, it won't go down this way, but if I rotate it, then it goes in. So I don't know what it's hitting. Oh, I see, there's a little notch in the front here. Okay, so there we go. We got two tomato plants in there. We're gonna leave them for a bit. Um, there's not really much to see in right now. Uh, so basically, oh, and also there's the where it leaked earlier. I didn't really show too closely. So I don't know how much if it's just a few drops that leak out or what, because it only dirtied that. But the bottles kind of has this dried on gunk here. All right. Um, anyways, let's see. So plant spacers, kind of pod. Okay. So let me read over this and I'll be back with the more, more important data, with the more important information. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to put these uh, plant spacer things in. So let's go ahead and put that. Okay. Um, I guess these also can only, oh no, you can rotate them. Okay. So you can put them however you want. I don't know. I like, I always, I'm always obsessed with like making this stuff lined up right. I don't know why, because in my house I leave everything a mess but for some reason when I do stuff I'm always like OCD but this so that annoys me a little bit <laughs> it's sideways but whatever as the plants grow it's not gonna matter all right again make sure the light is all the way in the lowest position which I have it okay and I'm gonna read a little bit more and I'll be back okay and if you're wondering um, you're not you don't want to remove the little labels on top those also help prevent algae growth if you peel them off then the light is going to get into the water and it's going to cause the algae to grow. Um, they said to leave space between pods for tomato or fruiting plants like peppers and stuff. But um, I don't know if one space is enough. As I mentioned earlier, um, I did see some grow pretty big. So I, they did provide six pods. So I have four more. So if it doesn't grow too big, I could always just... Um, it later put like one here one here one here and there because then they'll all have about one space in between all right um, and then yep we already did the growth domes and do the plant food so all right and then also they have if you're if you're 
done growing these plants. I don't know if after a while they're just going to die on their own or what, or if they'll keep growing, but they tell you how to sanitize the garden. Basically, you dump all this out, and then they tell you to take the pump out and then put this thing into the dishwasher. So I thought that was interesting that they tell you to put it in the dishwasher. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, it says, oh, you don't even remove the pump, just the filter. So the black uh, plasticky foam mesh thing, you can pull that out. So for some reason I thought it said to replace or remove the whole pump. So I guess the pump is okay going in the dishwasher. I didn't know it can handle the higher temperatures. Um, all right, so here's the thing about um, setting the light hood in the lowest position and then um, maintain about four to six inches of space between the light hood and the plants. Um, because if it touches the light, it'll get too hot and it can hurt the plants. All right, and then they also recommend pruning the plants. Um, they say it like helps with how they grow. For tomato plants, they said if multiple stalks grow out of the pods, to cut off the, mul the additional stalks, you just want to keep one per, th per pod. Um, and that's only for like vegetables that have fruits on it or yeah fruits or vegetables on it um if you're doing like just leafy stuff like lettuce basil thyme herbs stuff like that they said it's actually better to have all the multiple stalks growing in there so um if you are mixing different plant varieties they tell you to prune the faster one growing ones so that you can keep this light as low as possible um you don't want some plants being taller and then moving the light and then the other shorter plants won't get enough light all right, and they said they don't recommend mixing fruit uh, or fruiting vegetable seed pods in your garden with any other plant variety seed pod because they. Sorry about that. So I had a customer call, and for some reason my uh, phone decided to just end the recording. But anyways, here you can see the lights, and as I was mentioning earlier, you don't want to plant um, these fruiting ones like the tomatoes next to herbs because. These will grow out pretty far and then they will put shade um, to cover those and those herbs and stuff will die. All right, so anyways, <clears throat> they have some more information here. They tell you how to cut it and everything. And it also says the seed pods may come into contact with many other varieties of herbs, flowers, lettuces, etc. So if you have severe allergies to be careful. Then they got some tips here. So if you, you grow basil, um, it grows really fast and grows pretty high. So it says to keep the lights low until other herbs are well established and you can just prune the basil. All right. <clears throat> Slower growing herbs, chives and oregano can get shaded by them. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> keep them clear from the other plants. All right. For lettuce, they tell you to that they like cooler temperatures and then when you're growing salad seed pod kits to keep your garden away from very sunny windows harvest by cutting leaves at the base and spread your harvest evenly across your entire garden all right <clears throat> for flowers i don't have any flower stuff and i don't have lettuce either but you go um when the plants are about two inches tall check for multiple sprouts trim the smallest plants at the base even only one healthy plant in each pod all right, and then remove the dead wilted blossoms so that they can make more flowers. <clears throat> you go for tomatoes. Um, when they're about two inches tall, check for multiple sprouts. And then, like I said earlier, you just leave one. So cut down all the rest of them. Um, and then once they begin to... Oh, yeah, <clears throat> that's another thing. Once they get flowers, they say to pollinate them. So... You can use a bee the bee tool to shake pollen in each blossom loose or just gently shake the branches of the plants regularly loose in the po pollen in each flower and you can also point a small fan at it. Um, I could probably just open the window and maybe the breeze will blow on it but I don't know if them bugs will start eating it. And there you go. You'll see fruits in about 68 weeks. Okay. Um, if your plants are slow to produce they may benefit from a rinse and refill so basically dump the water and then <clears throat> refill it with clean water and put more of the plant food all right and then for heavier branches they say they that there are arrow garden trellis systems 
and you can also tie some of the plants with wooden sticks or chopsticks and you can also trim the branches flowers and fruit of these plant varieties and then they'll produce more all right and that's pretty much it so we're gonna let it grow and then i'll do an update video later um it is january 1st new year's i made this video a bit late so hopefully people will be able to find this video um, if they were considering buying this and saw it at their costco i think the sale ends on the second so tomorrow but uh, yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one oh don't forget to put this little piece back on as well you don't want all the sunlight getting in the water again otherwise algae is going to grow so that's why you cover these these things are black to absorb more light to prevent it from going through. And, yep, so I don't know why that one was, like, pulled up like that. Hopefully it's not going to cause any problems. Um, I don't know if that's going to cause algae growth, but that's what was in the box, so we'll use it. All right, thanks for watching, and see you all in the next one. Bye. All right, so I figured we've been using some basil and uh, mint leaves, so I'm going to grow these as well. As you can see, the Thai basil grows tall, and the mint uh, is a medium height plant, 6 to 10 days. Thai basil is 5 to 10 days. So we're just going to remove these middle covers here. Okay. Oh, so these have little areas to make it easier to lift this out. Okay, as you can see. All right, so we're going to put the basil over here. Oops, I pushed that in. And we're going to put the mint in here. So I don't know if you can put your own plants in here. I don't know what this material, that kind of dirt stuff that they put in there is made of. Maybe you can put those kind of planting foams or something in there. Because this does like move, like move out of the way. Um, but yeah. Alright, let me get a few of those little plastic covers and put those on top. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to get my tripod and now I'm too lazy to get it so we're just gonna put that on top these little covers don't actually snap in place they just rest on top so yeah but we're just gonna leave those sitting there and it should be good sorry I can't try to do this with one hand give me get more can't separate this with one hand oh got a bunch of them separated I only need one so I don't know why they provide so many of these because they only give you um, they only give you six of these I don't think is that only six three okay never mind they only give you six I thought it was more okay so I'm gonna have to use two hands so I'll be back all right so we're just gonna put that on top this thing's not lined up right, so it's not sitting properly. I don't know what's going on here. So I don't know why this isn't... They didn't um, cut this paper here right. So this thing isn't fitting over the top properly. I think same thing with this one. But uh, it's probably okay. Anyways, hopefully this video helped, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. All right, so the little lids aren't going on properly for these, so I'm gonna have to use some scissors, and we're gonna just cut this stuff out. Hopefully it's not gonna drip everywhere. All right, so we're gonna cut this excess paper stuff off. You can see it's like just folding up here. So we're just gonna cut around and cut that off, and hopefully it will be okay after that. Okay, so they didn't design this right. There we go. And hopefully now it will sit properly. If it does, then we'll do the other one. Kind of. Okay, I didn't cut enough of it, I guess. So that's annoying. Make sure that your pods have this, these labels on properly. Because it looks like if they're not on... Uh-oh. If they're not on properly, then you can't put the little caps on. So keep that in mind. That's annoying. I'm going to end up getting this stuff all in the water. So, okay. So, those little clear plastic things are too, too perfectly sized for this. So, if the paper is screwed up, it doesn't fit on. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, we're going to have to do the same thing with this one. We're going to go ahead and cut 
all this excess paper off. Okay, so you can see here all this excess paper. So now we're going to have to cut around and remove the excess. Okay, now we're going to be cutting off this medium label, it seems. But uh, we got to do what we got to do, I guess. I don't know if that's going to affect the growth because some extra light can get in. But hopefully it should be fine. It shouldn't. It's not too much. There we go. All right. So it fits perfectly. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.